This is all the makings of a classic, and it's coming right up. We have one of the best talents on the roster to date versus Rusev. Bring on the madness. Making his way to the ring from Stillwater, weighing in at 280 pounds, the Terror. Is it me or is this guy's 15 minutes of fame expired? I think it's just you because just like a good mattress, Buzz's success seemingly has no expiration date. Is that why our chairs have bed bugs, Saxton? celebrating 365 days a year. You know what that is, Byron? I don't know. What is it, Corey? It's Rusev Day. Here it is. Rusev Day is a real-life phenomenon taking the world by storm. It really is a holiday, Byron. It pops up on my calendar on my phone. Okay, so uh, no matter how you feel about this made-up holiday, what it has done is provide virtual jet fuel for the confidence of Rusev, who is more driven than we've ever seen him. Singles action is underway, and in this one, I wouldn't attempt to predict what's going to happen. I'd just be ready for anything. Sometimes that's all you can do. Oh, look at the elbow after. Oh, man, jarring headbutt. twist. When we talk about submission matches, we have to speak about one that, in many people's eyes, set the standard. It was WrestleMania 13. Bret the Hitman Hart was in a heated rivalry with a brash star on the rise named Stone Cold Steve Austin. This match started like no other submission match, with the two superstars battling in the crowd and attempting to use ring steps as a weapon. Byron, you mentioned the submission match between Bret Hart and Steve Austin at WrestleMania 13. The rivalry between the Hitman and Stone Cold was so intense that WWE had no choice but to appoint mixed martial arts oh. champion Ken Shamrock as a special guest referee. The Hitman didn't waste any time focusing his assault on Austin's injured knee. Steve Austin was busted open, and in the ringside area, it looked like a tornado went through. Once locked in the sharpshooter, Austin refused to give up. Stone Cold passed out due to the excruciating pain, which was considered a submission, giving the Hitman the victory. 
If it's not the greatest match of all time, it's certainly in the discussion. In a submission match, the name of the game is to make your opponent tap out from a submission move. There have been so many submission specialists throughout the history of this great business. Brett Hitman Hart, Kurt Angle, Brock Lesnar, William Regal, and Daniel Bryan are a few who come to mind. And on the women's side, I think about Alundra Blaze, Natalia, Becky Lynch, Charlotte Flair, and the boss, Sasha Banks. Corey, earlier you spoke about a submission match, and one thing I'd like to point out is that a submission match is not necessarily the same as an I Quit match. The key difference is that a submission match requires the use of a submission maneuver. In an I Quit match, victory can be achieved by bringing your opponent to the point where they quit as a result of the overall punishment they've received in the match. That's an important distinction, Michael, especially since a superstar can win it. Oh, just inflicting so much damage to the body. And that one grounds him. I didn't realize he had such a glass jaw. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. What a close line! Ouch! Oh boy, he is rolling. Going for the big one. And the slam. I don't know if Rusev could take much more of this. That slam just brought this entire arena to its feet. What great action we've had in this match. Oh, Buzz just barely got out of the way. Oh, Buzz just barely got Just when you thought he had nothing left. Takes him down in a major way, too. We're gonna lock it in here. There's no way he's giving up now. Whoa, he lets him out. What a fool. He had him dead to rights. You got to wear your opponent down. Find that little weakness that could help you end up with a victory. looks a bit off his game here. To be expected, though, it's not like he's in there with a slouch, guys. Yeah, but it looks to me like he still has plenty of energy in that body of his. I wouldn't look too much into this right now. I can tell you with all certainty that he did not anticipate his opponent mounting any sort of comeback here. And it looks like he was wrong. Very wrong. One of the things a superstar who's competing in a submission match has to be careful of is if they have an injury or have been injured in the past and people know about it. You can bet in a submission match that your opponent is going to target that body part immediately. It's like having a giant bullseye on an arm, leg, ankle, or shoulder. Oh boy, he is rolling. Byron, you brought up that a submission match can be especially dangerous for a competitor who's injured or had a known injury. I think that's why it's just as important as a submission match to be able to reverse the submission move from an opponent as it is to apply a submission maneuver. We're gonna lock it in here. Is he done? The WWE Universe witnessed a classic submission match at 20 tap, tap, this match is over.
That was one of the most entertaining submission matches we've seen in a while. Take a look. That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. A legendary performance. I don't like to throw around a lot of praise, but my eyes tell me that might have been one of the great matches in recent WWE history. Here is your winner, the Terror. Strategy fell into place with that victory. Great effort from both these guys, Michael. I'm willing to bet this isn't the last time we see them square off. Guys, it sounds like we can all agree that was an extremely impressive win.